What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Emma Watson film, The Circle. The Circle is directed by James Ponsoldt, who actually has done two films I've loved in the past, that being The Spectacular Now and The End of the Tour. It stars Emma Watson, Tom Hanks, Patton Oswalt, John Boyega, and a slew of other people. It tells the story of a down-on-her-luck 20-something year old who gets a massive interview at this company called The Circle. Imagine if Google and Facebook and and Twitter, and every major tech corporation combined into one massive organization. That is what the circle is. She gets a job there, and she begins to show promise, and is brought in as a bigger and bigger role throughout the film. Now, she begins to learn secrets about the circle, and weird things that are going on, because this company has a very big idea about privacy, and how it should no longer exist. They want to have cameras everywhere, and see everything, and make knowledge open to everyone. The film is based on a book, and I think the script reflects that. It's a very interesting story. The premise is really cool, and it really hooks you in, and the trailer makes you want to see the film. Along with that, the movie looks really nice. All of the sets are phenomenal. The actual compound of the circle is really cool. It feels like a super hyped up Google campus, basically, and I really loved that because all of the sets looked great, and it looked like this very new wave, awesome place that every young person would want to work. The film does a good job by having these little messages pop up on the screen when people are texting or getting chats from other people that are watching them stream things, and I thought that that worked really well, and the movie also handles this more futuristic technology idea in a good manner. It doesn't try to go in too much detail, which makes it so it kind of seems a little implausible at times, but it does enough that it feels real. It feels like an actual thing that could exist. The film is fairly well directed, but the thing that's going to pull people into theaters for this movie is the cast. This film's cast is absolutely ridiculously talented. I have to say, everyone did a pretty good job with what they were given. The two standouts to me were Tom Hanks and Bill Paxton, R.I.P. Bill Paxton, but the two of them were both very good in their roles. Everyone else did a good job, but this is also where we get into what's wrong with this film. This movie underutilized the shit out of the cast that they had. Like I said earlier, Emma Watson, Tom Hanks, John Boyega, Patton Oswalt, Bill Paxton, all of these phenomenal actors, and the only one that really gets all that much development is Emma Watson, and it's really sad. And the saddest part about it is I still think Tom Hanks gives the best performance in the movie. Obviously, it's no shock, Tom Hanks is a freaking legend. It's almost insulting how much John Boyega is being shown as a main character in this film when he's barely in it. Like, I legit mean barely. This dude is in like four scenes. Pat Oswald, who doesn't love Pat Oswald? He's straight up in like four or five scenes and he talks like two times. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you would have this phenomenal cast where I'm sure in the book these characters had to have played a bigger role and in the movie it's basically just two hours of Emma Watson and Tom Hanks every now and then. It's really just the two of them. Karen Gillum plays a decent sized role but she kind of gets left in the dust by the script just like everyone else does while she plays a big part in the beginning she gets lost part way through and I really don't understand that decision maybe in the book they don't really play that big of a role but I feel like it's impossible I feel like there's no way these characters who in this story are so important but are so underutilized in the script and then to go along with the cast, this script tries to have that snappy social network dialogue at times, but it loses it because it has the wrong people saying it. Tom Hanks kills it in every single scene he's in this movie. I totally buy him as a character and I'm super invested. But you have people, like you have Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt is a phenomenal stand-up comedian and a great actor, but you don't use him for any of the quippy, quick dialogue that you're trying to have in this film, and I don't understand why you wouldn't. Emma Watson delivers some of it fairly well. Certain characters definitely have lines that hit, but others have lines that you know are supposed to be these like big lines that just fall totally flat. And while the story is not really all that realistic, because it's kind of ridiculous with the monopoly laws that we have in this country that anything like this could happen, but, you know, suspend your disbelief in that sense. The film has no climax. The end of this film is such an anti-climax, I don't understand how someone could have written this and said, this is gonna blow people's minds. It was so generic and expected, and there was no detail given about anything. I'm obviously not gonna spoil what happens, but 
this movie lacked that crescendo that you need in a story like this. You need some big thing, because it's like a, it's a tech thriller almost is how I would describe this film, but it's missing that big thriller moment at the end. It's just basically forgotten about, and the movie just kind of, it, it flatlines once it hits a certain level, and then it just deflates all of a sudden at the end to nothingness. And I really, I really don't know how you could see this and think, well, that was a great ending, because it just left so much not necessarily open, there could have been more detail. They just didn't give it. I'm gonna give The Circle a C. If you're a big Emma Watson fan or a big Tom Hanks fan or something, maybe go check it out. I really don't think this is a movie that you need to see in theaters, though. Well, guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of The Circle, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and hope to see you guys later.